Hello and welcome to LearnQuickBooksFree.com That's right, this is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. In this next video clip, uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial on QuickBooks Online 2013, one of many tutorials. In this video for QuickBooks Online 2013, uh, we're going to be covering some of the navigation features throughout the online features. Uh, this is really meant for uh, new people who have never seen this before. Uh, so this will kind of just give you a quick idea of some of the cool stuff that you could do with online QuickBooks. First thing I'd like to show you is something really, really cool. It's a cool feature. Uh, and this is something that uh, you cannot do on a desktop QuickBooks, not as easily as you can on QuickBooks Online. And what it is is to open up multiple windows. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go ahead and do right click and I'm going to hit duplicate right up here on the tab and as you can see what it did is it opened up two tabs the same uh, and there you go so now I can work on two different things without losing what I'm working on so on one tab I could be working on customers and on another tab I could be working on vendors and all I got to do is just go back and forth exactly that's all I gotta do another cool thing about this is that you can actually take one of these and drag it onto a different monitor so if you're working on two monitors you could be working on something side by side that's right so and this will come real handy for like bank reconciliation where on one side you're reconciling the actual bank statements and on the other side you could use it to preview history and anything else that you need to to make the reconciliation go smoother Another quick tip for you guys is that uh, we use Google Chrome, which is what is recommended by QuickBooks for QuickBooks Online. So if you're going to use a browser, uh, download Google Chrome and use Google Chrome because according to QuickBooks, this is the browser to use. So I'm not going to argue with them. I'm just going to do it. I suggest you do it too. And now we are going to review uh, all these tabs up here that you see from home to company, customers, and so on. I'm not going to go ev over every single thing, but I will go over what I think uh, is important enough and what's cool enough uh, for you to know. And obviously with the rest, you could play. If I went over here and showed you every single thing, this video would be like hours. Okay, so I'm going to just try to cut through it and give you some of the nuts and bolts. Okay, so we're under the Home tab, and I went to Getting Started. If uh, you're literally brand new to QuickBooks, uh, besides the videos that we do, if you want, you can scroll through this a little bit. Uh, you may find some of the stuff that you've already learned through our stuff. Uh, it may be a little bit redundant. I've never really big, been a big fan of all these, but when I do need to refer back to something, it does help. Okay, um, So this is one place you can go to. Getting around is the next tab over. And uh, I kind of like getting around once in a while because it kind of gives you this nice visual picture of how everything flows. You know how money comes in and how money goes out, money in and money out. Uh, so if you're also new to accounting and don't know these kind of things by heart, uh, this may be a good place for you to come and say, okay, I need to get to customers, I need to get to things that are with money coming in or money going out. And of course, bank accounts and reports are stuck right in the middle because they do both. So this is a pretty cool place. And then you have your more, you can rearrange menu and you can do a lot of other cool stuff. I'll let you play with that because it's not that important. So let's go ahead and move on to the next. So we are in the company tab at this point. And this is where you'll have your chart of accounts, recurring transactions, sales tax preferences. But the one uh, feature that I really want to show you that's cool on this one uh, is activity lock. We will be getting into some of the other stuff in other videos. Uh, but for this one is going to be activity log. This is a cool feature. And why? It's because it lets you monitor everything on history as, as far as login times and when other changes were made. Uh, so this is a good way to really backtrack and see who did what, when who did what, including yourself. And then that way you know uh, what has been done and what can be undone. So this is a really cool feature to look out for under Company tab. And now we are under the Customers tab. This is where you'll find everything that has to do with your customers, your customer center with your 
actual names of the customers and their information, sales receipts, invoice, all the normal stuff that we will still go over in other videos. But once again, the one that I want to point out in this QuickBooks Online 2013 is this uh, section over here called the income list. And what's cool about the income list is it's a tool that will help you with your workflow. Uh, right now, there's not much to show over here because, once again, this is a new account. But as we get into other videos, uh, you will see how cool this income list comes together. So definitely look out for this thing called income list as it will help you. And now we jumped all the way over to the banking tab. And in the banking tab, this is where you will have a chance uh, to go ahead and put all the information that pertains to your bank accounts and credit card accounts. The cool feature over here that's brand new uh, and is going to be such a lifesaver is called downloaded transactions. What's cool about downloaded transactions, unlike before, is going to automatically update all your daily transactions at night. That's right. So before you used to have to import uh, everything manually once a month. Not anymore. It imports itself and it's also going to put it in categorized items where before it used to throw different things in uncategorized um, items. So um, this is a real enhancement. Uh, just this alone is a time saver. Definitely look out for this new feature. Okay, and now we are in the reports tab. Okay, and um, you know, this is where you have all your normal reports and a lot of cool detailed reports. But what's cool, once again, is this one called Scorecard. Look at this feature called Scorecard. And what Scorecard is going to do is going to compare your company with other similar companies in the industry. How cool is that? You get to see if you're top dog or a wiener. And here is a quick glance at the scorecard. It's empty right now because we haven't done anything. And you will see more of this stuff in other videos as we enter a lot of information into this. Uh, but what's uh, nice about it, you'll see that, yes, it once again, it compares the net profit margin, sales growth, cash flow, quick ratio. It's going to compare a lot of different things, give you a lot of different scores. And once again, yes, you will know if you are the king of the hill or the schlumbone. And last but not least, we are at the App Center. That's right, the world's gone mobile and so has QuickBooks. And it's going to allow, allow you to basically download apps and link up uh, to companies like Mavenlink, Bill.com, Salesforce for QuickBooks, and eBility. Uh, so this is another cool feature for you to be on the go. And this is why you just got to love the way new QuickBooks Online is. Uh, I think it definitely has surpassed uh, QuickBooks PC and it's something to look at and to be reckoned with. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.